Hey, what's going on, everybody? I hope all is well with you guys. I must say I have missed my Love Pursuit family. And if you're new, we want to welcome you to the Love Pursuit family. So stay tuned because later on in this video, I'm going to give you some information that would allow you to stay connected to the Love Pursuit family. I am your host, D Fortify, your wellness coach and inspirational speaker. But first and foremost, the first thing that I need to do is tell everyone Happy New Year. That's right. It is 2019, guys. We have made it. We have made it another year. And so let's take a moment just to say thank you and be appreciative of everything that we've received on last year and everything that we get ready to take into 2019 that is positive. Okay, just bring in the positive things. So this is our first Tinder Tuesday talk. And because this is the first one, I think it's very important for us to lay down a foundation, right? Create an atmosphere so we can be able to tap into God, tap into the universe, um, which means we need to speak to the heavens, speak into the universe. And if we do that, it allows us to position ourselves to receive everything that God has for us. You understand what I'm saying? And over the next 365 days, we want to make sure not only that we are in position, but we are prepared to receive our our divine order. Repeat after me. Uh, that sounds good, right? Divine order. We're going to receive exactly what belongs to us from God Almighty. Before we get into our Tender Tuesday talk, I want to remind you guys of a few events that we are hosting in the month of January. So on January 5th, we are hosting two events. One is Facebook Live and one is an event that you actually can attend. So the Facebook Live happens with copper vibrations between the hours of 2 and 4 p.m. That's right. Between 2 and 4, we will be with copper vibrations. And what we're going to be discussing on that, um, on um, doing that event is relationship, love, and talking about some organic, some earthy things that we can implement in our lives that will allow us to enhance our overall well-being. Next, we have our wellness shake party. That's also on January the 5th, but that's between the hours of 6 and 8 p.m. Now, that's being held in Greensboro, North Carolina. So if you're in that area or in the surrounding areas, we ask you to join us. Come support. And um, there we're going to have some shake products. We also want to be talking about fitness, nutrition, um, your dietary needs and things that you can do to physically get yourself in order. Last but not least, on January the 25th, between the hours of 6 and 9 p.m., we are having our first annual vision board party. It's always good um, when you have ideas and you're able to put them on a board. So when you hang that board up in your room, you are able to see your vision. It's a constant reminder that, hey, I have goals and I need to make sure I follow through with the action step or the action plan in order to manifest my goals. And so with that said, we want to make sure you are connected and involved with Love Pursuit. So we look forward to you to attending to all, if not all, at least one of these events. All right, it's time for our Tinder Tuesday talk for the day. I'm excited. Look, today's topic is take back what is rightfully yours. That's right. Take back is rightfully yours. And you may see, you may say, D, what are you talking about? Take back was it what is rightfully mine. Absolutely. You were born with gifts and talents. And oftentimes, you know, people that we come into or the employers um, that we sign an agreement with, we often give them our gifts and our talents. You know, we we have these skills that we develop, right? And we apply these skills in different areas in our life. But with that said, we oftentimes come into people and companies who do not appreciate our gifts, our skills, or our talents. And when that process starts to happen, we start de depleting all of our personal resources. And people are constantly making withdrawals, but not making deposits within yourself. And so before you know it, you're running low, right? You're empty. But here at Love Pursuit, we are always making deposits within you. 
And so here we have implemented a, implemented a comprehensive model that is designed to advance ourselves and our communities in which we live. And the goal is to work towards healthy exchanges and engagements and partnerships. Now, in order to achieve this, we must continuously participate, nurture, and develop our bodies and our souls. Now, sometimes you may hear me reference to the body as the physical or the outer layer. And sometimes when it relates to the soul, you may hear me reference the soul um, as our personality, individuality, or the inner layer. And once we nurture and develop um, these two areas of our lives, eventually we see our manifestation in our spirit. We are more connected to our spirit on a deeper level. And when we are able to demonstrate the ability to connect purposefully, move effortlessly and listen respectfully with zeal, we begin to witness our very own transformation for the better. Are you ready to transform your life? Are you ready to start 2019 with new beginnings? Well, then you are in the right place. So I have come up with four R's and they are reconnect, remember, reflect, and reboot. Okay, those are the four R's. Now, I'm not going to go into details right now in this particular video about them, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to invite you to the YouTube channel, our YouTube channel. Just go ahead and Google Love Pursuit or search Love Pursuit in YouTube, and it should come right on up. I'm also going to have a link below in which you can just click on, and there we're going to flush out this uh, these four steps that you can apply in your life to kind of give you some insight on what you can do to move forward to live a prosperous life in 2019. All right. All right. So I see you there again. This is your boy D Fortify from Love Pursue. Just want to say that I love you guys and I see you there on the YouTube channel. I love you. Peace. All right. All right. All right. Y'all ready to dive into these four R's? So let's revisit them again. The first one is reconnect. Then it's remember, reflect, and reboot. All right, y'all got that down. These are some resources that is going to help you begin that transformation process. So let's start with number one, reconnect. Reconnect is just basically making time for yourself, being able to re reconnect to the person who you really are, your deepest part of yourself. And that means to rejoin, to uh, reestablish communication and dialogue with yourself basically just self-talks and so that means spending less time with others and more time with you some of you you may struggle with this because you're social butterflies but it needs to happen because it allows you to assess and identify your core values over time over the years you know it, it you know we change we evolve and so what were your core values 10 years ago may not necessarily be your core values today and if you ever feel yourself getting frustrated or, or, or stuck in a place, always reach out to your loved ones. Oftentimes they can assist you with this process. And believe it or not, they tend to see things that we don't. Okay. Okay. Our next step is remembering. Now, remembering is a process of recalling a series of events to our mind and our consciousness. And it's also the preparation for reflection. Now, you remember a time when you was at a family reunion and you're just hanging out with friends and all of a sudden you hear somebody say, oh, you remember when we went out that night and so-and-so fell on her butt and all of a sudden everybody started laughing? Yes, that that's remembering. And the beautiful thing about remembering that it always evoke a soulful, emotional part of you that lies deep, deep, deep within. I mean, it always evoked an emotion. Remember that, okay? Remember, remember that. Remember that remembering always evoked an emotion. And you see, and that is necessary. It's a necessary action which position us and transition us into a forceful yet influential stage, which is our next stage, is reflect or reflection. Let me let you in on a little secret. Reflection or to reflect is the most powerful tool that you possess. And a lot of people don't know that. You, you wanna know why? Because like I said before, to remember calls um, or evoke an emotion. And so, so many people, when they remember, they attach onto that hurt, they attach onto that pain and they get stuck. 
However, when you are able to move past the pain and move past the remembrance stage, you are able to tap into your gifts and your talents. That's where your strength lies in the reflection stage. All right. So promise me you are not going to get stuck in the remembering stage. Don't be one of those individuals that can't move yourself and become stagnant in those feelings that people have caused you to feel. So remember that reflecting is the key to your success because it's part of the learning process. If you don't learn, you can't grow. So if you don't grow, you can't succeed. Kind of all come together and makes sense now. We have to make sure that we take time to think, time to ponder, time to meditate. I'm telling you, it will open the windows to your soul purpose. Remember to always reflect. Reflection also allows you to learn from poor decision making. It fosters creativity and it helps you to understand yourself that much better. So number three is to what? Reflect. And remember, it is the most powerful tool that you possess. So let's uh, recap real quick. That's why we talked about number one is to recap. I mean, is to reconnect and reconnect is about self. Number two is to remember and remember it evokes what? Emotions and then emotions that we don't want to get too attached to. And number three is reflect or reflection. And that is your power. That is where you consume your fuel, your energy to move into the next stage. Now we are in our final stage. So our final stage is to reboot. Once we did one, two, and three, uh, we need to use all of those steps in order to reboot, to reignite who we are as an individual. And I'm telling you, it's never too late to jump back in a race. It's never too late. Reboot means to restart, to modify, to make changes, to establish your new beginning. I told you here at Love Pursuit, this is the year of the begin of new beginnings, and you need to make sure you're ready to establish your new beginning. That's right. Take back what is rightfully yours. Are you ready to do that? I said it, and I need you to say it too. Take back what is rightfully yours. You are your own CEO. You are your own CFO. You're your co-author. You're your co-pilot of your life. You are made up of a body, a soul, and a spirit, and it is your birthright. So I challenge you, you hear me? I challenge you to step up and become active. Become an active participant, a participant in your life. We are at the final stage, our last step, and that last stage is reboot. I'm here to let you know it's never too late to jump back in a race, okay? If you jumped out, now is the time to jump in. Reboot means to restart, to modify, to make changes, to establish your new normal or your new beginning. Now, throughout my life, I've always heard people say, well, I wish things were back the way that they used to be. You stuck, <laughs> you are stuck. If you're saying that, you are stuck in the remembering stage. You are attached to an emotion that you don't want to let go. And you would never be successful if you continue to be stuck. And so what I need you to do right now is take back what is rightfully yours. Say it with me. I take back what is rightfully mine so because we have to move forward. You are your own CEO, your CFO your co-author, your co-pilot. I mean, you are made up of a body and a soul and a spirit. You have the ability to move forward if you put your mind to it. This is your birthright. Look, I wouldn't lie to you. This is your birthright. So with that said, I challenge you. I challenge you to expand your capacity into a higher consciousness and reach beyond your own expectation. Stop restricting your ability to grow in an extraordinary rate. You can do it. You can do it, but you just have to apply yourself. You have to spend time with yourself. You have to meditate on the things that you desire. I know it may feel uncomfortable, but trust me when I say it is worth it. It is worth it. All right.
there's a couple of things that I would like to do because I need to make sure that you're in a safe place. I mean, we talked about all of these emotions and I'm talking about remembering and sometimes remember can stir up some emotions that we have not uh, brought closure to or not made peace with. And so the first thing we're going to do is a breathing exercise. All right. And so um, our first breath is going to be for the body. We're going to breathe in love and we're going to exhale unconditional love. The second breath is going to be for the soul. We're going to breathe in hope. And we're going to exhale infinite opportunities. I feel my blood pressure going down already. All right. We got one more breath to take. And this one is for our higher consciousness. We're going to breathe in faith. And we're going to exhale faithfulness. Good, 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 good. And feel free to do this breathing exercise whenever you feel led to. Now, last, we're going to, um, I have an affirmation. I love to leave off with affirmation because we need to affirm ourselves every opportunity that we get. So the affirmation reads, I am worthy of love and deserve to receive love and favor in abundance. Therefore, this year in 2019, I will reconnect, remember, reflect, and reboot. All right, so let's do it together. I am worthy of love and deserve to receive love and favor in abundance. Therefore, this year in 2019, I will reconnect, remember, reflect, and reboot towards my new beginning. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. Now, if this Tended Tuesday talk has impacted your life, please feel free to subscribe and share it with a friend or family member. And again, I am your host, D45 from Love Pursuit, where we are changing our encounters from transactional experiences into a transformational existence. I love you and have an awesome day. Peace.